Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. One of the best-looking 1911s I own is the Springfield Armory Emissary. 1911, chambered in 45. They also make this in 9mm. But it's a beautiful-looking handgun, and I really love the way they took these VZ G10 grips and the front strap and the flat mainspring housing. It all mimics the same pattern. So when you grip this, it's so consistently firm. It has a five inch bull barrel. This is also available in commander size, four and a quarter inch barrel and nine millimeter. There are four pistols currently with the emissary. It's got a tri-top cut slide, a tritium front dot, U rear sight, and a solid body flat face trigger with a squared trigger guard. Picatinny rail, eight round Mechgar magazines. Excellent handgun. I took this out of the case. I was blown away. I was like, this is really a nice shooting handgun with that bull barrel. Well, Springfield expanded the line on the emissaries with not just four pistols now, but eight. And what did they do? Well, they kept the same features pretty much, but they... came out with an all black model emissary now this is a four and a quarter inch 45 acp emissary it uses the same mechgar mags eight rounds 45 acp and this is four and a quarter they also make this in government size five inch and in both nine millimeters so instead of having four emissaries in total they now have eight emissaries in total how is this different well clearly the color is different you can see the g10 grips are pretty much the same the, the the color scheme is different and then the flat mainspring housing of the front strap remains the same i think springfield wanted to keep that because it was widely popular amongst many shooters the solid body flat face trigger remains the same i'm measuring this thing breaking just under four pounds with a very nice 1911 reset. It has a full pick rail right here, opposed to a three slot pick rail on that model anyhow. The tri-top cut slide, the tritium front dot, and the U-notch rear sight. And it also has a bull barrel. This is a bushingless bull barrel. And with the bushingless, with the bushingless, barrels okay there's typically a a hole in the guide rod full length guide rod and you would take this pin here and put it in that that would compress the spring and then it, you would disassemble it like any other 1911 and it looks like this and disassembled here's how the emissary looks but what we have here is a Cerakote black finish all throughout. It has these serrations on top here that are 40 line per inch. That's supposed to cut down on the glare. The tri-top cut slide, and that's what you're looking at there. See how that bevels into a flat top? They call that tri-top. All right, and the, the bull barrel makes a difference. And this is also in 45. I think I mentioned that, but I love the way it feels in the hand. I really dig it that I have the four and a quarter inch and the five inch emissaries. You'll notice that the slide is very shiny on the original and the black Cerakote, not as much. And I really do dig Cerakote. And this is actually Cerakote. But I, I really love, love Cerakote because I think it's a strong finish holds up well takes a lot to to scratch it or chip it up or anything it really does but i really like what springfield did with the emissary that bull barrel's nice and when i took this to the range i had a similar experience that i did with the original emissary no learning curve whatsoever right out of the case it shot incredibly well now you may be asking i like the features I like what it has, but how much is it? Well, if you look at the original emissary, it's currently priced, whether it's 9mm or 45 ACP at $1,378. The all black model, which I believe they're calling this blackout, is the same MSRP. You're looking at 
1378, whether it's 45 ACP commander size or the 5 inch barrel government size, whether it's 45 ACP or 9 millimeter, same thing across the board 1378. And I really do dig it now that it comes with two eight round magazines. Of course, these are interchangeable, both of these are in. 45. I love the way this thing shoots. I took it to the range. Only took it to the range one time so far, and I really dig it. Let's go ahead and check that out. Fioki Hyper Performance 230 grain jacketed hollow points. No problem. Now, if you go with this emissary, whether it's the black or the original two tone model, you're looking at $1,378. And what you'll get are two mags and a double zippered padded case here but i want to get it on the scale because i shot this fioki 230 grain jacketed hollow point great stuff right there and i've got that loaded up right here loaded in a bag not in the handgun and we'll go ahead and take a look at the unloaded weight two pounds eight and a half ounces we move that to just ounces 40 and a half ounces and here are eight rounds in the mag, 48 and an eighth. How about a carry round? You're looking at 48 and seven eighths. So 49 ounces. Just for fun, let's take the five inch government model, also with a bull barrel. And you're looking at 50 and a quarter ounces. So we're looking at about two and a quarter ounces more with the government size five inch barrel. But I love the way it fired. I love the way, I like the way it looks. I'm, I'm actually struggling to figure out which one I like more. This one is more, let's say, upscale, you know, with the shine and then the, the tri-top cut slide and the two-tone. It looks like a classier handgun, but I think this one's built a little tougher. And honestly, I did not notice a major difference when firing at the range. Same trigger pull. Right under four pounds, same eight round mags, same overall sight picture, VZ G10 grips, the flat mainspring housing, everything remains the same as the original. If you have an emissary and you love what you have there, you will certainly dig the black model. I think it I think it's cool though. It looks a little more beefy with the four inch barrel. It just does with the full pick rail, the, the full length guide rod, the bull barrel, the way it, it fires at the range, it just, it, it, I, I love it. I, honestly, I really do. I, I fell in love with the original Emissary and they're available in nine millimeter. I've got two and 45, couldn't be happier. The original 1911 chambered in 45 and that's what this one is. And there is uh, the original. So it is now available 1378 for any of the eight models that Springfield Armory now offers with the 1911 Emissary. And if your experiences are anything like mine, you will certainly dig it and call it one of your favorite 1911s. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.